Thank you so much, Rachel. And thank you to all of you, both online and in person who are joining. This, I think, is the largest collaborations workshop that we have had. And we were scaling it back because we weren't quite sure how many people would be coming along after, after the pandemic. But it is so great to see everyone's faces. It was so good to see uh, faces of online participants in the hybrid coffee chat earlier. Um, and it is my great pleasure to welcome you either virtually or physically to Manchester here for Collaborations Workshop 2023. Um, so yes, I'm Neil Chuhong. I'm the director of the Software Sustainability Institute. Uh, for those of you who are not very aware for, of, of what the Software Sustainability Institute does and have just registered because you thought this looked like a really cool workshop, it is definitely a cool workshop. It is also a really cool organization. I'd like to quickly, I'll thank them again on the third day, but I'd like to say thank you to all of uh, my colleagues who've done an amazing job of getting things ready so that we can all get into some serious discussions and fun conversations. Um, and also to thank uh, our um, funders, the UK Research Councils, who are um, both supporting financially this conference and also paying for the time of everyone who is helping to make your, uh, your experience such an enjoyable one. Um, the Software Sustainability Institute was set up in 2010 because uh, basically people like me realized that we were pretty average software developers. We were researchers going around our business and going, ah, oh, are we doing this right? I'm not sure. Uh, and, and this entire topic that we've got today around um, development, developing your skills, developing your careers, developing yourself, developing your software is, is really a culmination of where we've got to over the last 13 years of trying to understand how we support people who are doing, soft, uh, doing research with software. So you'll see a lot of people wearing these lovely t-shirts which say better software, better research. If you don't have a sticker and you're here physically, there is a lovely sticker table where you can um, both pick up uh, our stickers and share stickers of your own. Um, if you are online, feel free to share stuff uh, you, yourself um, uh, via the Slack channels and let us know what it is that you really love about software, because that's what we're here to do. However, I also wanted to kind of give you some of my own personal tips uh, for how to, how to deal with this slightly crazy chaotic space that is an unconference. But um, quick question, how many people were at this conference? Put your hand up if, you, if you'd like. So how many people are, how many people are attending this conference? Oh, okay, this is good. I'm glad that I'm seeing a lot of hands go up in the room. All right, keep your hands up. Um, were you here for the pandemic years? So how many people were here for pandemic years? Still a lot. How many people have been to um, uh, an in-person collaborations workshop? Okay, so we're starting to go down. How many people have been to more than five collaborations workshops? Okay, how many people have been to more than 10? <laughs> okay, so it's basically me and Simon here. So um, this is the 15th collaborations workshop uh, that we've run. It is, as Rachel said, the first one that we've done in person, uh, sorry, in hybrid. Um, but uh, it, it is the same idea. What we're trying to do is get people together uh, so that we learn something about everyone. This isn't, a, this isn't a conference where all you'll do is listen to a group of people who've been somehow picked um, to, to represent the community and then talk, uh, talk about what they're doing. This is something where we really encourage you to talk to lots of different people about what you're doing and importantly listen to what the other people are talking about as well so that you get a good shared understanding of everything that we do. The way that the, the um, conference is set up is that on Monday, sorry, Monday, today, Tuesday, it feels like Monday still, um, We've got everyone here to talk about um, themselves. You get an idea of your fellow participants. You'll get into discussion to find out what people think, what people's opinions are. Tomorrow, we'll start moving on to working out what people think are the topics that really need addressing. And then on Thursday, if you're sticking around for the hack day, we're going to be trying to make progress against some of the challenges that have been brought up. So with that in mind, um, 
here's some of the things that I think are really important when you're going along to an unconference. So the first one is uh, to make sure that you realize that you're a participant and not just an audience. So this is an active workshop, both online and in person. What we're going to be asking you to do is participate. So you're going to be um, talking to people, you're going to be coming up with ideas, you're going to be sharing knowledge. Um, and as you're doing that, be mindful of the different ways in which people like to share knowledge. Uh, so everyone has a different style of participation. Uh, try to make sure you can see and understand how people are doing that. Second one is to be kind to yourself and to others. If you've never been to an unconference before, it can get quite intense. It can get really quite energetic. Um, you can exhaust yourself. So please do make sure you take care of yourself and others, take breaks, um, make sure that you stay properly hydrated. Um, the one that's going to be really interesting is make sure that you keep your devices nice and charged. Uh, if you have not yet found them, power strips are underneath each of the tables in each of the rooms. Um, but please be kind and sharing because I think we have about six or seven times more devices than we have power outlets. So we'll see, we'll see how it goes. Make sure you share the power. Um, and then uh, third one is to find the sessions that fit you. Uh, so some of the questions that we've already been having in the Slack are around how do I choose the discussion sessions? How do I understand who I should be talking with? If you don't find the right one to start with, that's okay. Move on to move on to the next one. So just make sure that you find the session that uh, you you get the most out of. People will not mind if you uh, move from one session to another. We're only asking you to put in your choices to give us an, an idea of how to logistically spread people around the building and around the online rooms as well. Um, and then the last one is just that the journey is as important uh, as the destination. So for a lot of the things here, you might go, oh, if only I could get this working, or if only I, I, I could find the perfect answer. As we'll find from a lot of the different um, talks, from, we'll, uh, we'll see in the panel that we've got uh, coming up next, the journey is just as important as the destination. And what we're trying to make sure that you do is find out more about other people's journeys and talk about um, uh, your journey as well, because in sharing this and sharing our lived experiences, what we're able to do is understand perhaps what we might not have seen along the way, the, the, really, the really lovely viewpoint that we went straight past as we were rushing towards our final destination. So have a little think about that and think about what it is that you, you wanted to spend a little bit more time on. Um, and then finally, I'm, I'm going to kind of just talk about one particular rule, which I found really useful for these sorts of conferences. So, um, so this is the Pac-Man rule. Who's heard of the Pac-Man rule? Hey, this is really lovely. So, uh, so for those of you who've not heard about the Pac-Man rule, just talk to one of the people who put their hands up there and, and you can find out all about it. No, uh, so the Pac-Man rule is uh, a way of encouraging um, interaction with other people. So if you are in a remote space, the Pac-Man rule basically means taking a pause, making sure that you allow people a chance to raise their hand or to come into the conversation. Because it can be really easy if we're into some really interesting discussion to just be talking really, really quickly, not giving people a chance to, to kind of come into the conversation. So if you're engaging remotely or hybrid, leave a gap. Likewise, if you're in a physical space, um, I saw a lot of you doing this in the um, lobby area earlier. Uh, think of yourself as a little Pac-Man on the floor, leave a space so that someone else can join your group, invite people over. If you see someone who looks like they are interested in joining a conversation, but don't know where to join, come and invite them over and then leave a space for another one. Feel free to then go off, talk to someone else. Um, it's a really good way of uh, meeting new people and making sure you get to that seven, um, seven person target that Rachel has set for you. So um, with that, I am going to stop um, talking myself and start 
uh, getting into the really, really interesting part of today, which is introducing the first panel that we have. Um, and so uh, whilst I do this, I'd like to get, uh, if the speakers in this panel would like to kind of come up and sit down, uh, and then I'll, I'll start the introductions.